Uh, can you notice there's something totally different on my Mac right now? No? Well, I was pointing it out to you. It's the Finder. You notice Finder has some shades on. And, uh, no, it's not an icon change hack or whatever you want to call it. You know, you kids and your Mac icons or whatever, you know. It's, uh, it's actually an application somebody made, uh, it's called Total Finder. Uh, you can find it here at blog.binaryage.com. Total Finder with dual mode, which is a long one, but, you know, I'll link to a shorter version of the title of it in the, in the info here. Uh, what it does is, well, pretty much it's pretty simple. It's basically the Finder window, and if you notice, it almost kind of got like a, what's that browser, the, uh, uh, like the Chrome layout. The way the tab looks here, you know, you got the little plus button here. But what it does is pretty much it takes Finder and you have a tabbed window. So you can have one window open and pretty much you can open a new one by, you know, either double clicking or opening it up or so. Like, let's see. Say, like, uh, let's go to Video Box. See, Video Box is open in that one window. So now. Without having so many windows on my screen, I can actually just have this open, go here. And a cool thing is that um, it has this, and it has a dual view. Reason why they call it the, uh, the what do they call it again? Dual mode means when you have two windows open, or for that matter, any windows open, but when they're next to each other like this here, double click on it, and then pretty much you can um, access both of them. So in other words, if you want to transfer files from one folder to another folder, with great ease, you can easily do that. Uh, now, as far as I know, I haven't really used it as much. I just downloaded it and I, you know, I played around with it for a little bit, and it, I kind of like it. I mean, you know, you got two folder views, you know, and as you can see, even the toolbar, they give you two toolbars because you know you're doing with uh, you're dealing with dual modes here, so it's like. You hear, like, I'm at my home, you know, at the desktop or whatever. Actually, I could go to the desktop, and there it is, my desktop. I could go to my pictures and uh, be right there. I could go to movies if I want to. I could even move this into the movies. See? With ease, I could just do that. Put it right back over there. I'm not going to do that. But, uh, and then I could just easily double-click it. It's back to single tab mode. So it's like I can go to this tab, I can go to this tab, I can open my torrents, which of course are illegal, wink. Anyway, uh, but uh, pretty much it's pretty cool. Uh, now, as far as I know, the person who's told me about this, he said, it's a person on friend feed, he said that there's possibly, there's a possible bug. I, he didn't go into detail, I think he went into detail, I'm not certain. I had to go to the comments of it. Yeah, he says that um, on his Mac Pro, Total Finder doesn't fully disappear off the bottom of the screen. It gets down to about equal with the top of the dot and just hangs out. Now, I don't know. I haven't, I don't think I've seen that bug on mine. But, uh, yeah, but I don't know. I mean, it's still worth downloading and using it. Of course, you know, you can always remove it if you want to. But pretty much all it does is it kind of, you know, it fiddles, you know, it changes some things. Finder where you can just you know it does this here. I if you ask me, and I know you didn't, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I think Finder should be like should have been like this now, because you know we're, we're living in a digital world where tabs are like the most best thing to a browser. You know we got internet. You know in the Explorer have now has tabs. We got Safari with tabs. Opera, which I don't even know if anybody still uses, has tabs. Uh, you know, Firefox was the first one with tabs. Uh, you know, there's a couple other browsers. You know, uh, Maxon, you know, whatever. Any other internet browser has tabs. Windows never had that much tabbed uh, home folder views. Uh, there was this one program, I think I talked about it before, maybe not, but... It was this one program called XY, I think. It had like an orange logo. I think pretty much it was like XY folder or something like that. I have to look it up. I forget. But, um, yeah, you pay for it and pretty much it's, it'll be like, you know, you can, go, you can look through your Windows folders 
and you can have like you can save certain ones that ones that you know you go to all the time you know but that's the windows version this here is free as far as i know i think he said something on the website about possibly um coming out with a paid version or so but this here is free and it it looks pretty good i mean you know the fact that i have tabs and you know i don't have to have all these windows open you know i don't have to have Finder window here, 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 you know, blocking up my, you know, screen, even though, like, you know, I could just move to the secondary screen, but even so, this is, this is actually kind of nice, you know, I could just keep everything in one tab, one window, which is very nice, especially for those of you who like to have everything, you know, non-cluttered on your desktop, you know, pretty cool, uh, what else is there, the settings, like I said, in you can tell when it's plugged in, you know, not plugged in, when it's uh, in there because Finder actually gets shades on here. Which, by the way, if you go to the preferences, you can actually see it says don't customize. So you can see show icon and status menu, which is the little thing up there. Now it's gone, but it's, I put it back up there for now. Now you get the option to don't customize the dock. So, in other words, it'll take the shades off. So it'll look like the Finder icon. Shades just represent that, you know, the app, you know, the total finder app itself is in effect in a way or so. So that way people would be like, hey, you know. So, you know, you got the purchases here, uh, you know, everything else here. You know, pretty much, it pretty much has like the same preferences as finder, you know. The only, the only difference is total finder has its own with the with the you know tweaks and all that so I think most of the most of the general stuff is the regular finder uh, the finder preferences probably a little bit more tweaking to it you know you got the sidebars here you know like like as usual you know it shows you all the ones you could put on there or whatever or you know like with regular finder you can just add ones on there and labels connect the servers blah 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 you know so Pretty much, I think the only thing is you probably would use this here more likely to, you know, either you want to have them with shades or not. But uh, for now, I need the shades on. But uh, yeah, uh, I think if anything, you'll probably like this here. Even if they do come up with a paid version, I think I saw, I think you'll probably would pay for something like this. Now, I don't know exactly if it will be, you know, coming out. For paid version right now it's free but I kind of like it and I don't know if Apple could actually you know make some sort of upgrade where it's like it'll actually make finder do this on its own fine and dandy uh, if there was a way he could actually submit this to Apple that you know maybe he could like you know get a lot of money for it because you know Apple will buy anything if you do something right with their stuff uh, like I said, I don't know. I think I, I'm starting to think maybe Apple missed out by not doing this to Finder. You know, everything else is tabbed. You know, Safari is tabbed, although 4 is horrible, but still. Uh, this here, Finder should be tabbed, I think. Uh, I kind of like it like this here. I, I don't think I'm going to uninstall this, no matter how bad it may crash it or whatever. I don't think I'm going to uninstall uh by you know this here total finder I'm not, I'm not I'm, I'm gonna keep this on here um, so like I said uh, I'm not gonna say the whole link I'll just link to the side uh, but pretty much binary age they got some other stuff here but you know you can do that on your own uh, so pretty much yeah download it try it out I think you may actually enjoy finder in the tab mode rather than the regular single uh, window mode and uh, yeah, so pretty much that's it, and check it out, why don't you, eh?